Okay. Good morning, morning, morning. Morning, Debbie. How are you? So I cleaned up my craft room because it was a disaster in here from all the stuff I was making. So I came to an executive decision and I'm just not going to appear in any craft shows this year. So I'm not going to sit here and make a bunch of stuff and then not have it sold. And then I just wasted all my good fabric. So we're just not going to do that, especially when I could find something else to do with all my gorgeous fabrics. So I chose not to do that. So I'm not even going to bother anymore. It's going to make my stuff for me and my family. Okay. So I remember, do you remember, are you guys hearing me? Okay. Because YouTube is not saving uh, my video. It said, um, I guess YouTube's down because it's not working for me. And I don't appreciate that. And I'm going to put my salt lamp on because I like it on. Hi, Martha. Hope you're feeling better. Can hear you. Okay. So I'm going to work on my confetti scarf. If all of you remember this beautiful pattern. I was going to take this to my retreat and work on it. Good morning, Lynn. But why is my video doing that? I got it unchecked. What in the hell? Everything's just messing up here today. I can't even get it to un auto focus off. Just keeps blinking in and out. Let's see if it's going to stop. If I check it. No. Nope. Auto focus. Good morning, Edith. Anyway, this is frustrating. Um, to this pattern, there is um, layout blocks into row, 10 rows of eight blocks. Okay. Five Haskell Chinese units into rows. Okay. So there's three different blocks I have to make. And I don't remember exactly what I was doing here. I just know that this here is this first block. This one is this one. So this is one block. That's all I remember. And then I don't know what these are. Scraps maybe? Okay. Oh, more pieces. Who knows? This is what happens when you put shit away. Oh, I see. These are the... Oh, yeah, I got to sew all this. So this one is sewed. But it's just not cut. Why do I have, oh my God, why do I have this mess? If there's four, one, two, three, four. Okay, organize. Let's organize. And I don't know what these are for. <laughs> Jeez. Who knows? All I know is I know I have, oh, these ones I've already sewed. Okay, so these are all, no, they're not all sewed. That one's sewed. That one's sewed. That one is. That one is not. Is not. Oh my god. None of these are. These are all just pinned. Okay. All right. I'm just going to pin them and sew them. So these are the colors. Uh, triangle paper. And these are the squares that I need for all of these. Who knows? Oh, I believe these went with this. Yeah. I haven't finished that. Okay, I get what those are for. Now, I just don't, I don't know what I'm doing, okay? All right. So, these are extras. This is also one that I made, but all I did was cut it. I didn't even iron it. Okay. I get what I was doing here. So these are my fabrics. 
there was 40 fat quarters and 40 of the light purple fabric that have to go onto these sheets here. So we, what we're going to do is sew these ones on all the lines and then I could cut them. And these make perfect half square triangles. Like this square is pretty, pretty squared up. So I'm just going to sit that over here. I spent the morning cleaning, cleaning my craft room, getting things put away that I know I'm not going to be making. Okay, so. Now this one, it says to start here. I work my way all the way around. And then you're supposed to come up on this side and end over there. So I will start here. Let's see. Follow this along and I will end here. And then I will just work my way back. Nope, that's going to take it out. So I'll work my way this way. It don't really matter. I'm going to have to take it off anyway. Okay. So when stitching on paper, now let me dig out these white pinheads because I don't want them mixed in with my other pins. I'm going to put them back in its rightful little box. Ruby, I'm trying to figure out how to make a pouch for lottery tickets. Oh. Well, do you mean for like the the thing that you have to choose the numbers on and keep those? Do you keep those and just redo them and put your lottery tickets together? That kind of thing. Now, when you stitch with paper, you have to sti stitch with a one and a half inch stitch or you're going to have a hard time peeling off this paper so let's just get all of these sewed and then i can start um nope these pins are going to take a wipe out so i'm going to put them over the hair so it says start here so this is where we're going to start and all you do is sew on the line Maybe I could figure something out for you, Deb. It doesn't help when you don't sew straight. These make perfect half square triangles.
Ow. Ooh, that one hurt. Hi, Shantika. Good morning. Somehow I ended up in the inside. I do not know how that happened, but okay. I go fast, I go crooked. So I just can't go fast. Well, so far I haven't had to break off my thread and looks like I'm done. This next one here, we'll finish it. And the way to check that is flip it over and see if you've got double lines, you know, a couple of little crooked ones here. But hey, now I could take the pins out. I think I got them all. So there's another one sewed. Hey. Hey. I cleaned my machine, oiled it. So there's another one done. So what they want you to do, by the looks of it, is put the purple fabric, because look at how this looks. Isn't this beautiful? So starting here kind of worked. And I like how that worked out, because I didn't have to keep breaking off my thread. <coughs> One continuous line. I also wound all my bobbins this morning so I don't run out of bobbins. Okay, you know what? I need something to help move this, to move this around. And I think these, these things might work. Give me something to grip and then I could move. Um, them around without, you know, this is just sliding on you.
it there. Good morning, BJ. Good morning, Rajul. Oh, you're almost finished yours, Rajul. Oh, my God. I bet you it's beautiful. A lot of work, isn't it? A lot of little tiny half-square triangles. But this was what I was going to take and work on at my retreat that I did not, cannot go to because I'm not fully vaccinated and I don't want to be around people with this Delta virus going on. under that light i'm gonna have to tape that light right now because that light just keeps my paper keeps getting stuck under it and it's pulling it off so i'll put some tape on it and hold it down hopefully Hey, good morning, Nan. All right, let's hope this helps. Uh, I should put one right up there. Don't even think of poking me pins. Don't even think of it. There we go. Hopefully, this will help me. From my thing, the corner snagging on that white, pulling it off. I gotta do holy shit. You just flip it over, make sure all your diamonds are there. They look like they are to me. I am doing great, man. Thank you. How are you?
These pins are not my best friend. Really? You find that something else to hook on to? Okay, I'm going to put this other thing on my fat finger here. Put this one here because it's bigger. And my right hand is bigger. Silicones. Nike. I like these little pins too, but these ones here, you can't iron over them because of the ball on them. That's the only reason why I'm using my other pins. This one here, the case is getting pretty small. I don't know how many sets are in there. Do I have one that's got a bigger case? How many people have like seven pairs of these scissors? <laughs> like, holy man. I have a lot of these. Me and, and uh, oh yeah, that's a seamer, but I think a pair of scissors. Um, well, don't really have another container to 
put them in that's bigger because I got more pins to put in here. These are another one of the Clover's fine, fine, uh, fine tip pins. These are so freaking sharp. I kid you not. These are glass pins. But I like not those. I like my other ones. I thought maybe I might have had a bigger container. Well, look at that. I do have a bigger container. I just dump them all in here. Um, yeah, those are sewing machine needles. I don't know if they're any good or not. So in the garbage they go. Now, let's see if we can turn this into... magnetic pin cushion probably not with these cheap ass magnets oh well anyway it's a bigger container because this one is just too small oh maybe I did turn it into magnetic cool uh, very good it worked I just put some magnets on it. That's all I did. All right. All right. Flip this over. Have a look. See. Well, I'm glad you're doing good, Nan. Yeah. Get that over here. Go to my start. So I wonder if this pattern tells you how many of each square you need to make. Okay, so we did this layout. Four half square triangles shown as stitched together. Press seams in opposing direction. Press row seam open. Make 10 out of each print. 10 of each print. Layout half square units with four squares stitched together. Oh, so I have to make 10 of these for each print and then put them together like this. Stitch together and roll the pressing blah, blah. Make two blocks from each fabric combination. So two of those, two of those, and two of those from each fabric combination. Huh? So if I have two, 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 make two blocks from each fabric. This is too tight. Lay out blocks into ten rows. Okay. Not getting that. I don't know. That, that was way too tight. Anyway. I'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it. steer with this.
So are you telling me one sheet's going to give me six blocks? Because two, four, six. No, I can't. Just don't forget the mathematics of this. figure it out. Don't dare take these pins out because you can't have this shit. understand this. Okay. It's bugging me. Now, I've got this one here. This one only made this one. And it's only going to make another one because why is there only three left? Oh no, there's four. Um, so which one is this one? This one is this block. And then this one, I'm going to sew one this way. Sew one that way. That one. And then you're going to sew one. See, so what I have to do is make these blocks first. That way. And it's so weird. That way. So that's what you have to do is make those blocks first. So is that what it's telling me to do? 
press, stitch press seams in opposing directions and press row seam open. Make 10 out of each print. So one, two, okay, there's five. And this one should give me five. One, two, three. Four. One there. One there. One there. There's two. And these ones don't have the paper peeled off. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Now, the problem is. That's going to make a second block. These here are going to make a second block. I'm only getting two blocks per fat quarter. So how do I don't get this? Make two blocks of each print for a total of 80 blocks. Make two blocks from each fabric combination. You can't with one one fat quarter. You just can't. So how am I going to mix my colors up? When certain blocks go in certain places. Oh, God, help me. Hmm. This is not good. So, for example, I see one, two, three blocks. And they're of the same color and the same design. So these ones are going to go across here. These ones. Oh my god, this is so freaking confusing. <sighs> my god, Rajul, how did you fix figure this out? Hi, Jan. Stupid! Oh my god, I'm dumb. Somebody shoot me. These are not three different blocks. <laughs> They're showing you how to lay out the blocks, how to sew them together, and how the block's going to end up. And that's exactly what this block looks like. If you turn it this way, it looks like this. It's got there, so really. Okay, so it says make two blocks from each fabric combination. So, meaning all these different 40 fat quarter combinations, I should be able to get two blocks. And that's exactly right, because I'm going to get two blocks from each package. And that's going to give me 80 blocks. Why didn't I think of, why didn't I see that? Because I'm dumb. I needed to pay attention. I was trying to figure out how do I make two different blocks from each one of these, but that's, that's how you sew the block together. And that's how you make the mini block. Well, 
This is the sub block, and then you're going to sew it together into a nine patch. Duh. Pay attention, Rubes. Just pay attention. That was just dumb. I'm so dumb sometimes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, because I think there's a couple in here that I had to put the same fat quarters because that's how they came in the bundle. I had to buy two fat quarter bundles to get these designs. It's, I think a couple of them I have the same color for some reason. Dumb. Yeah, you're right, BJ. They are. They're just laid out differently. I was really misreading that pattern. Like, how is this possible? <laughs> I knew if I studied it long enough, I'd figure it out. That was just so crazy me. This crazy. Fortunately for me, the faster I go, the straighter I sew. Does that make sense? Probably not, but it's the truth. When I go slow, it makes me go crooked. So I took my dog to the vet yesterday and because she was so congested and on my live show yesterday, I'm sure you guys heard her hacking. Her, um, the vet checked her heart, said it was good, listened to her lungs. She said she doesn't hear any crackling in there. So she said, I'm pretty sure it's all contained to the nasal area. And that's why she's having trouble breathing out of her nose so she's on antibiotics she's also on an antihistamine steroid but a very 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 tiny amount of steroid the doctor said because steroids and diabetic dogs don't go hand in hand so what it does it throws all their levels off if they're taking a steroid and that happened to her last couple years ago when she developed the bronchitis and she it went all in her nose she had a nose infection everything and we got that cleared up but the doctor put her straight on a prednisone which is a um a steroid so this is supposed to she said we'll try this 
She said, I really don't want to give her a steroid that's full-fledged steroid. So how about we give her antibiotic and give her the antihistamine. This, this little pill contains antihistamine, tiny, tiny bit of prednisone, and something else to, I think, an anti-inflammatory. I'm not sure what, what, it, what she said, but it's supposed to help her. So this morning, I don't think she hacked as much as she did yesterday. She was very sick. But she couldn't have been too sick because she's still eating, still drinking, still taking treats. To me, when my dog doesn't eat and don't drink and don't take treats, and she's been there, believe me. When she don't take treats, then I know she's not. Something's not right. But, you know, just listening to her breathe, was like she was struggling out of her nose when she was eating something. It just sounded the same as when she was drinking her water. It just sounds awful. So this morning she got her second dose because the vet said to give her one when I got home. So she got a ha another half of each pill. Not stand it when that dog is sick. Just, I don't sleep well. I don't, I just can't function. So, over the last few weeks, we've spent, I don't know, $600 in vet bills for her. But he's our baby and she's important. So, money can never buy back what I have with this dog. So, money to me is no value <laughs> when it comes to your pets. And I think that that's. The thing is, I think the vets know this and take advantage of you because they know, oh, she's going to pay for this emergency visit. Well, I mean, it was it was Tuesday. It was not a Saturday or a holiday. And they made me pay ninety eight dollars for an examination and fifty five dollars for an emergency in-house visit. And I'm like, wow, you could. She squeezed her in. She was there in that vet's office for a whole five freaking minutes. And the bill was $217. So this is where they know, like they knew I would have to say, yes, I need to take that emergency visit and pay that money. Or I'm going to have to wait till next week till you can get me in. So they knew I had to pay to say yes. So that's where they ding us. And, and some vets just don't cut people breaks. I, it's not like I asked my dog to get sick or I knew she was getting going to get sick and I would have made an appointment in advance. These, these things happen. So to me, to me, um, I really think veterinarians really uh, play on your emotions. And that really bothers me to no extent. It really does. Like I said, you know, I didn't ask Tia to get sick. She got sick on Saturday. She started to get sick on Saturday. I started noticing and listening and I could hear it in her. So I phoned the vet on Monday to save myself some money. I thought I'll let it go to Monday instead of doing an number. It wasn't that bad on Saturday and Sunday, but it was, it was coming on. And, you know, I, I, I would have paid just as much had I phoned the emergency vet on Sunday and said, can you take her in and look at her if it was that bad? But I ended up paying just that much even for a Tuesday appointment. Now, you know, what kind of vet charges you $160 just to walk into the vet office? I had to pay that. She didn't do a damn thing. I had to pay the $160 just to bring her in there. And I thought that was highway robbery. And I thought that was absolutely sickening. It was rude. And I, you can't tell me that five minutes cost you $217. Yes, I realized I had to pay for the medication. One was, um, the bill, bill came to 217 So one, one was, I think, 30-something, uh, and the other one was 20-something. So, you know... Uh, I'm just, I'm absolutely blown away how the vet said, well, I'm going to have to charge you for that. It's, you know, it just pisses me off. Uh, yeah, they did three corrections to this pattern. Her patterns sometimes require reading. I have put off doing this pattern because I was working on her American culture stitch along and our flag strands for freedom. 
the R flag was loaded with heirs. She has to date. Did three car. Oh, geez. So anyway, um, that's awful, BJ. When you get a pattern, the good thing is, though, is if they fix their errors and tell you about it. That's nice. And I mean, probably a lot of people saw those errors and they and she had no alternative but to fix them. But you know what? I am really, I am really dumbfounded, especially when I just had Tia there last week and paid for, I don't know if the, the vet bill was 300 and something for the, her initial first visit. And then I had to bring her back in to get um, her Libra uh, glucose meter hooked up. They charged us 30 something dollars for that. Then I had to get a jar of insulin, which was $48. Uh, you know, all of this just added up to be over $600 in two weeks. And to me, none of that was worth their time to write a prescription out or fill up her, her bottles, you know, that they're still the cheapest in town, but Jesus, you know, like making me pay an emergency in home, uh, in office visit for, a, for, for five minutes. She took literally five minutes. She had tea in there. Next thing you know, I was just sitting in my car cause you're not allowed in there. Uh, I, the phone rang and she said, well, I listened to her heart. Everything's good. Uh, it sounds congested, and I'm thinking, you just charged me $160 to come in here and tell me that? Wow. You know, it's not like we ask our dogs to get sick. And one thing I told the vet yesterday, too, when I was on the phone with her, I said, listen, you got to understand she's blind. She sniffs, smelling. She's got to smell her way around when she's outside. She doesn't know where she is anymore. She, she'll she remember that she's on the, the deck, but she still needs to stiff, sniff around. I said she could have sniffed something up her nose because she's using her smelling uh, more so than what she would do on a normal basis because she could see. At that time, she can't see. So she's sniffing everything. So, like I said to Jeff, she must have got something because we were sitting outside on Saturday in our gazebo. And I said, Jeff, she must have got something up her nose. And just, you know, because she was out there on the deck. There's pine needles. There's pine cones. There's all kinds of things. There's hops, plants out there. She could have sniffed something up her nose that caused that infection. Because it was just really weird how we were sitting out there. Nothing happened uh, up until around four o'clock, I was like, why is she breathing like that all of a sudden? You know, it just happened like all of a sudden. And I guess whatever got in her nose, hopefully I'll get it out. But yeah, you're, the vets will, that they see you coming and they go, oh, good, dollar bills. Uh, put the dollar sign up. And it's, she said, well, the vet has to see her between patients. Well, la -ti da Five minutes. What it took her the same time to go to the bathroom, have a shit, wipe her ass, come out, would have been five minutes. You know? Jeez. To me, I look out at that. She would have had to go between patients if she had to go to the bathroom. I just, I'm... I'm I'm just dumbfounded at, at the vet prices. I really am. Good thing me and Jeff make good money or we wouldn't be able to afford to take care of that dog. She's Costs us a lot, a lot of money because of her health issues. But I want to keep her around as long as I can. And I don't care how much it costs. But like I said, I, I care when I'm being taken advantage of. And I feel like the vet did that to me yesterday. Yeah, she's like you would have think, you know, she would have cut me a little bit of a break. 
and said, you know, she got sick. We just saw her last week. You just forked out $400. You know, we'll cut you a break, cut her. We'll, we'll squeeze her in like a normal doctor would say, you know, if you're not feeling well and you need to go, they'll squeeze you in kind of thing. Not this, not this vet office. Nope. Nope. They made me pay for every a, a examination that which was 98 something, a hundred bucks, I was say, because I had to pay tax on that too. And then $55 for the in-home or in-office emergency. And it wasn't even an emergency because I called Monday. I, they couldn't take her until Tuesday. If it was an emergency, you should have got me in there on Monday then. You know, it kind of frustrates me because what the hell happened? Why do I have thread coming out in two spots? Get these off because I can't function with these. What the hell happened here? I can see thread right there. Wow. Where did that come from? That doesn't screw up anything here. Hmm. Weird. that I don't know or a fill thread normally doesn't do that doesn't have the um, fuzzies on it like the normal China stuff does <laughs> um, they've got her they've got us on it let me read the bottle I'll tell you how we have to wean her off of it I'll take a little break too. <clears throat> this one says, which one is this? This, oh, this one's called Claviceptin. So this is an antibiotic. Give half a tablet every 12 hours. This one is, yeah, Venectal. It says give half a tablet twice daily every 12 hours for four days, then half a tablet once daily every 24 hours until gone so it's 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 a very tiny pill it's pink and um so for four days so she's gotten one full tablet tablet so far and 
she's got three more days at half twice a day and then i have to give her the rest one a day uh till it till it's gone and then this is her antibiotic that she has to take for 10 days and it's just uh they've got a little doggy on it so yeah she's on that tia lockwood ruby keep away from children for veterinarian use Yes, I do keep my medications way out of reach because of my grandkids, especially the dog stuff. Yeah, those, uh, those cannot be. Uh... So is this going to work now? I do not know why that did that. Did it snag on something? Because this thread doesn't have fuzzies like the China thread does. So I'm not getting why it did that. It just literally broke. Yeah, we had to have her on that once before, Debbie. And she, uh, we had to wean her off it, but she was on prednisone. And we had to wean her off that for a whole, I think it was three weeks. Yeah, that was a pure steroid. But because she was so sick with that bronchitis and her nasals were so congested, the vet said, "I this was her other vet, said, I don't want to do this because it's going to throw her, in, her insulin levels off. But she said, I think I have to go that route because she took a chest x-ray on her and that's where she found the bronchitis. And that was $180, the chest x-ray that she had done. I believe that was last year. No, it was the year before. I can't remember. We took her out to camp. We went to camp. We come back. And that Sunday, she got very sick. But the vet said this has a very, very, very low dose of prednisone in it. Very, very low. So it shouldn't mess with her insulin, her levels, her glucose levels too much. Join that I backstitch, yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure I backstitched it there. All right, make sure I got it all. Oops, that one's good. I go get my Tia so you guys can see her. It's been a long time. And she needs to have a little visit. And I'm going to check her sugar. I'll show you her lead button. Yeah, you can even hear her little congestive nose yes they can hear your little congested nose there you go my little girl there's my little girl here we go baby listen to her nose so this is her uh her libra and this just reads her her insulin so it's 10.3 it's coming down because i gave her her insulin this morning hi what are you doing up here baby 
you baby girl oh my goodness and i keep this on her because <laughs> i made this i i can't it's really light stretchy stretchy old pair of pajamas i had that i never wore and i made her a little cover to cover up this because she tries to get that off and my grandchildren when they're here they'll try to pull this off because the first time we got this installed chase was just two two years old that we brought her home he got him to babysit and he pulled it out of her so that's it good morning barb those are no more good because once it gets removed it's done hey hi baby girl what are you doing up here hi my girl you're so congested sweetheart I can hear it in your nose. I don't like it. We'll get you all bitter. We'll get you all bitter. Yes. She's my little girl. Mommy would do anything for you. Hmm? She's not, she's an old dog. She's 13 years old and she's, hey, hi. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> She's so stinking cute. She is stinking cute. You hear her congestion? That's all in her nose. So she really needed to have medicine. Right? And we're glad we took you. Right? Here we go. Okay. All right. Mm, back to work. Now. I believe this one only has not enough pins for sure. I don't like that pin. I just cleaned up all my pins too. On there. Nope, something's just not right. There. need to iron these. you Barb hey Tracy good morning what are you doing hey I what are you doing baby girl hey you're just standing there stitch matters.
You want to go back in your bed? Come here. I'll bring it back, guys. Come here. I'll take you back. I'll put it in your bed. And she's a struggle to get in. When it's warm, she likes to sit out on front deck and watch every person walk by and bark at them. I'm back, opened the door, and all I could hear is the singing of the machine. <laughs> Very funny. Hi, baby girl. You went up now. You tell everybody you're my bad little girl. Oh, my goodness. There you go. How did I get thrown off? I see what I did. Ow. Damn it. I see what I did. Get out. Get out. Okay. <laughs> Just wondering what these things are. <laughs> okay. Are you happy now? Hello, Marta. Did you go yeah. take Corey? Yeah. We sat in the parking lot and talked for a good 15 minutes. And what? yeah. Do you feel any better today? My forehead's a little on the spicy side, but I do feel a little better, yeah. Oh, I got my plates. Yay, I got my plates. I but didn't oh, take... to finish your, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I'm getting my stove put in today. I'm going to work on the kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish these two. Then I'm going to cut what I've got sewed and put them all together in little baggies and keep everything organized. I haven't stopped at McDonald's. I wanted to get... I was wanting a McDonald's french fry. Probably get a burger or something to go with it. And they don't sell the damn food till 1030. And I was there at 1020. Oh, yeah, it's just breakfast. I said goodbye. She said, you coming back? And I just took off. <laughs> no, I'm not coming back. Okay, now I got to get in there pins. and fix me something to eat. This has pins, okay? Stop. No. <sighs> no. No, no, don't boss me around. No, 
This has pins on it. Well, so how nice. Never mind. You're not the boss. This has pins. You're going to get jabbed. Look at chat, Ruby. Oh, Tracy. Wow. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, goodness gracious, girl. You don't got to do that. That's for you. That's for you because you are bad. Yes, you are. <laughs> Take a paw. Good girl. 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 <laughs> You're too cute. You're just as cute. Okay, are you done? Here. You want to chew on that? Just so I can get this finished. Don't rip it. You will too, won't you? You're a bitch when it comes to this stuff. Oh, I'll show you what I found. I found my scissor things that came in so sampler. Look at this. These go on the tips of your scissors. They're a little different than what you would see for crochet hooks or knitting needles. Sorry. See, they go on your scissors. No. Oh, what? bitch. <laughs> you asked for it. You put her up there. Yeah. Who did this? Who did this? Who did this? Look at her. Are we still friends on Facebook? I can't remember your last name. Hi, Jan. Hi, Nan. Hey, Barb. So these are actually, you. I think you can buy these still from Fat Quarter Shop. They still sell them. These, these were not exclusive to So Samplers. This was something that came first to sew samplers, but I like the pink ones. And they go on the scissors really nice like that. See? It's a little different than a, the ones for knitting needles. Come here. Here you go. Here. You can have that. Mid-morning snack. Till I, just till I get this stuff. Oh. You got messenger though? I don't know why I'm asking. I have no idea. Don't let it fall. So what are you doing with the... What? You just follow the lines and it's quilting that. No, actually, you will see, because I'm going to cut these soon. These are all one and a half inch half square triangles. Okay. And if you do them with the paper like this, it makes them absolutely perfect. Okay. So you'll see when I go to cut them. I got one more to sew, and then I'm going to cut, and then I'll keep sewing. And I just want to stay organized with this as much as I can. So you start here and you finish here. So start here and there. But that's not where I end. What'd and you then you're going to cut them all in half. And then, and then yes, you do. Keep them together. I'm going to say, why are you quilting that with no quilt batting in it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not quilting it now. And as I said, I sew straighter lines when I go faster. When I go slow, my fabric has a tendency to shift. I don't know why. But this way, it doesn't have that opportunity. Ruby, you can 
can have Messenger without Facebook, right? What? You can have Messenger without Facebook? I don't know. That I, I don't see why you can't. I don't know. So I forget something to eat. I got leftover burrito. I'll have that, I guess. I can get rid of these damn pins. They are annoying and they scare me with Tiana on my She's having a heyday with that. She's like, look, Mom, a new toy. New hey. toy. Are you doing teeth marks in this? Oh my goodness. Who put Is that glass? No, it's plastic. You ever give her an empty pop can or a pop bottle? Oh my god, she knocks my pop over when I have one to get the bottle. <laughs> Especially if I'm like out of the living room and I have it sitting on my desk. She'll just get up on my desk and swat the bottle till it falls and it's full of pop and she still dumps it. She tries to chew the lid off of it, but she does. She does succeed. Yeah, it's 65 degrees. No rain in the forecast, but with the high of 73 today. Nice. So, according to um, um, the Weather Network, we are going to have an early cold winter. I feel so blessed that I would like to share the wealth with everyone. Hey, you're just wrecking that bottle. Go. Get out of my life. Go. Get your bum out. So what? You're going to have winter before? Oh, yeah. You always have winter before us. Yes, I'm going to have a very long, cold winter. Of course, it's because I have to go back to work, you know. Uh-huh. It's going to be brutal. Somebody gave, us, gave me a thing of the states of what it was going to be. I think ours is going to be cold and wet. Okay. You have to get down because I'll be using my rotary cutter. Okay. Is that all right? You can go down now and be a good girl. Oh, surely. Hey. Do you think you can manage that little one? Let's see. It's always sending me that stuff. All right. We're done with those pins. Okay. My little love, you have to go say bye, everybody. Have a good girl. The little barkarama. You're a little barkarama. What's on your eyebrow? No, I need it. And she's got a piece of beard that really bothers me. And I just want to snip it off and go. <laughs> That's this one long hair, and I didn't like it. I did not like it too much. I did not like it too much. Look at you. Look at you. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. The I'm so stinking cute. I can't stand yourself. She just wants to bite. You just a biting my bite. I got disconnect. Well, I didn't get jumped out this time. I hope no, you, didn't you didn't hear what I said. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, you're just being so good. So good. 
Say bye. We all be back. She's just laying Goodbye, here. spoiled little one. Martha, she's not spoiled at all. Yeah. They're all, they're all spoiled. She's Don't you know that by now? Spoiled. She's our baby. She's still a baby. spoiled. You're just being so good. <laughs> what are you doing? He's laying there taking your scratches. Uh, my air's going to pop on. Oh, I He's shut it off. Giving me puppy eyes. Like, what are you going to do with me, Mom? You're getting off my table. That's what we has to do. Yes. Come on, baby. Hey, baby. Thank you, Gold. No, I need to find. I need to find at least three inch bags so I could put all of my blocks into them. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't think there's enough here <sighs> for. I could put a couple per bag. Okay. So let's finish up this one, cut this one up. All right. Oh, not for that medication. Now, so this here, we're going to make them and press them. And I'm going to use my little, oh, I'm going to fire that up right now. My little iron from Leanne. That takes a little bit to heat up anyway. So, and this here are, okay. Okay, so I need to dig these out because those are the squares that go with them. And then I'll put everything in there and keep it all organized. Them's organized. <clears throat> so, Oh, I found this. This is called So Standard Seam Guide. So this here is where you would determine your marks. So one eighth, what you would do is you put this underneath your needle. You put your needle through the hole, put your foot pedal down. That gives you exactly one eighth. Bring your needle up. You would stick it down at the quarter inch and you would lay a piece of tape across here and that gives you the exact measurements. <clears throat> so this little thing is called So, San so Standard Seam Guide and it's from Fat Quarter Shop because it says it's so Emma. So this came in our, um, so if you ever have to do like, like these ha um, diagonal sews, so you're doing an X for example, and you have to turn your fabric, you got to start from there to there. You want to mark your quarter inch seam, put a piece of tape here and just follow this point down here. And when you're sewing it, pretend that's the line, you just sew and follow this bottom all the way up and you will get a perfect line. So just in case you are wondering where I found this when I was cleaning out stuff today. It, isn't, it even has the 45 degree mark on it. It's got an X here for quarter inch. That's your quarter inch tester. So that's where you would put that in there. And you could see you can mark a, a quarter inch. It's pretty cool, this little seam guide. So I thought I would share that with you. All right. So let's get back to. So then what do you do? Put a piece of tape next to the yeah. side of it? Yeah, you put that, you run that like I have these markers. Right okay. here on mine already. I have guides. And you would put your needle down in there, and that will give you exactly quarter inch. And you would okay. put a piece of tape at that quarter inch mark, and then you would sew all along just following that piece of tape. Because sewing machines don't have quarter inch lines. I don't know why. Yeah. A that quarter inch. Yeah, they don't have the little guides. Well, that's not right. Sucks. Not right at all. No, it's not. So these lines here, you've got to be kind of right on, bang on, but the seam, this part here, you don't, I don't take a ruler just to cut through that. Food. I need food. Just as long as there's a quarter inch between them. 
So, now the thing begins. So now you have to cut on all the solid lines. I wish this thing would stay perfect and then I could cut it both ways, but it never does. Like I wish it would stay like this. Nice and straight. Like that one is not because it was folded. I would be able to cut them all at once. So I got a feeling that I have problems with this last one. Do that other curly one by itself, all by its little self. Now these have to be perfect. These, seriously, these lines here, you have to cut on that line. That's how you're gonna get your half inch, one and a half inch half square triangles to get them perfect. So this is very time consuming, this quilt, in case y'all were wondering. I'm not too worried about the seam allowances. I'm more concerned about those. You used one and a half inch uh, stitch, you should be able to just pull these off nicely. And they did work. So that's, that's the one and a half inch square triangle. So what you do is you, you have to trim the dog ears off, but it's supposed to give you a nice, perfect square triangle. So, so you just have to tear. See, one and a half inch, or no, one and a half millimeter stitch allows you to rip these off like this, this easily. 
should have a paper tearing party. <laughs> Who would come? I would. As long as I could rip something apart, I'd be happy. You'd be ripping all these papers off of these thousands of little mini squares. The only thing is, I wish I could trim off the dog ears already. Yep. You can just put up some pictures of her driveway and her yard is all done. Oh. It looks really nice. She has a beautiful place. So, I guess doing this and taking breaks from sewing. Um... What do you mean taking breaks from sewing? <laughs> well, this here, I'm not sewing. I'm ripping paper and cutting. Bye, Ruby. Bye, Nan. Have a good day, hon. Bye, Nan. Have fun doing them chores. Oh, look. See, my stitching came undone there. That's what the only thing is I don't like. Ripping these out, it causes your stitching to ones together in one bag should be able to fit them in there after they're all pressed I might even be able to fit more than three I just don't want to leave these all scattered loose in my container why because I don't want to mix them all up because that's not going to be fun to sort these little tiny half square triangles out Not even close. Not even, huh? No. Oh, neighbors are leaving. Oh, I hear that. No oh, shit. Sure. What are you having? It's getting worse. What are you having for lunch? Leftover burrito. Oh, the one you didn't eat last night? Yeah. I like burrito. Yeah. Refried beans. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Those make you fart. Makes the body good. <laughs> you can't doubt that. Oh, my husband's going to be home really late today. He's doing two routes, and both routes have five sets of flyers. And that was funny yesterday. He said, you hear that? That's all the packages and the car thinks he had to have a yeah he had to seat belt the mail because it was so heavy it was send it was making the um seat belt thing beat that a passenger didn't have their seat belt on and it was the mail <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny Hello. Sure. How did they want me to press these? Hmm. Why keep losing freaking internet again? Yeah. Since they just for a quick the second, it, though, it makes and it's it, not kicking me out. It's it made it worse instead of better. Oh yeah, you said something about YouTube or something doing bad today. Yep, it won't save my video 
So anything I've posted under it, it said it wasn't saving it. It won't save the thumbnail. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But it's definitely YouTube. So if anybody wants to make this quilt, you've got to know it's going to take you a long time. It's a, And it's something that you're probably going to get bored doing. So you need to just put it away like I do and uh, work on something else. How many times have you worked on this one yet? Oh, quite a few. And then I get bored because it's just a repetitive thing you got to do over and over again before you actually start to build this in this block. This is the block. Oh, it's cute. Yeah. Um, no more pieces. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's it there. Ones Good pieces today. for fire starter. Yeah. Hi, Florence. Good morning. Hi, Florence Flowers. Long time no see. Yeah. Now, I want to mention this pattern was really hard for me to find on the internet. I seen somebody in one of the quilt groups made it and put the, the pattern name down, but didn't link it. So everywhere I went, I could not find it. But this is a primitive um, gatherings. It's a primitive gatherings of quilt and it's also primitive gatherings paper that you use these sheets they come in they come a little bit bigger and you get you need 40 of them 40 of these papers these here in order to make this quilt so Barb says love the design and the colors are beautiful and can't wait till you start your log cabin me too barb i like log cabin all right you convinced me. <laughs> convinced you what? I'm going to put this away and start my log cabin. Okay, let's do it. But I got to find fabrics first. And I got to find, I got to download um, the, I wanted to make the round one. And it's a free pattern from uh, Jordan Fabrics. And it's a, it's a round, oh, it looks beautiful. Florence says, I missed you, lady. Oh, I missed you too, sweetheart. Glad you're here. I'll just finish this up and then I'll go dig out fabrics and we'll work on darks and lights together. You guys can help me pick out fabrics. Oh, fun. And Not because you pick one out and she no, I don't like it. And you pick one out, yeah, I don't like it. And then she picks one out and we don't like it. That's <laughs> <laughs> Martha. Well, you remind me of my mother when it goes to shopping for quilt material. Oh, shut up. We're going to make it. I promise. <laughs> I'll let you pick it out. I promise. I'll let you help me. First of all, we have to determine how many colors we're going to need. And if I get away with two and a half inch strips, I could just cut two and a half inch strips of all, all the fabrics. Okay, so I'll put this away so I can be lost again. Put this here, put this right there in the corner. If we haven't done too much. Mm -hmm. Let's make a log cabin quilt. The round one. So these ones here I have all sewed. How cool is that? And I gotta cut them all. So this is all my fabrics. This is still how much more I gotta go. Oh boy. Yeah, oh boy is right. But I keep things nice and neat. 
and organized and organized so i never have to look back and say what did i do where's the lid for this though where did i put it oh it's right there okay all right so i'm going to print off the pattern first i'm going to put this back up here we'll work on it again soon but i'm already bored with it Hey, let's see if my let's see if my side camera works, Martha. Okay. Let's have a look see. Oh, it's oh yeah, yeah. Working. Woo hey, happy balls. Hey. But it really needs to come a little bit. How's that? Good. I need to straighten That's it. Like perfect. What? Perfect. Down a bit. What's up? Because Tracy, Tracy likes this view. So this is for you, Tracy. All right. First of all, let's go to Jordan Fabrics. I need to find. That quilt pattern. Uh, let's go to craft. Now every time I think of log cabin, I'm thinking of the little cabin with the trees next to it. Which my mother made, and I don't know who she made it for, and I don't know where it went. But I wanted it. All right, I gotta go to something here. I gotta find Jordan Fabrics. See Debbie Shore? Her thing isn't saving her thumbnail either, so I don't think it's just me. I've tried both computers. All right, where is Jordan Fabrics? I know she put out, here she is. All right, I'm just going to go to her video, pause it, and go to here. And on here are all her free patterns, so let's go find that round log cabin one that I absolutely love. What do you mean round? You'll see when I print it off, you'll see what the log cabin blocks are made the same as you would make any other log cabin blocks. It's just round. Round. <laughs> oh my god, she's got a lot of patterns to look through. Nope, those are courthouse steps. I don't want that. Where is it? You never saved it? Uh, yes, I did save it. But remember, my computer got a new hard drive a couple weeks ago, and I lost everything. Oh. Yeah, every freaking thing I had saved on it. Even things that I purchased and downloaded the patterns now i don't even remember curvy jelly roll log cabin okay so yes it is a jaw it's okay i download the pdf i'll print this off but i'm not using her colors i don't like the way she did the colors um so let's just print this off and see how this turns out Brother printer is offline. No, it's not. Can you stop pissing me off, printer? <laughs> I seriously need a new printer. We'll get the tank. That new white one. Pretty. <sighs> Restart. You got a Sam's or a Costco up there? No. Okay, it says my computer is asleep. Let's wake the bitch up. <laughs> I am having Matt, trouble printing from my computer, Jeff's computer. Nothing's worked. Now this computer. This came in one of my so sampler boxes. See? 
It's a, oh, yeah. It's a tea towel. Hmm. Yeah. And I cover my printer up with it. Cute. It is. Scissors, pin cushion, threads. Are you going to print? Come on, Dicky Doo, print. Restart. Let's go cancel. Goodbye. Let's start printing again. Print. <clears throat> it says ready. I do not know what's wrong with this effing thing. <sighs> Maybe eventually it'll print. wants to print. Bling, bling. Oh, never mind. I'm going to go into the living room. I'll be right back. I'm going to go try and print it from there because it's not working here. Dick face. We're back. I'm going to go party. Intermission, ladies. Go get you a fresh cup of coffee and grab you a donut if you got one. I wish I had one. Well. I done made it, though. We're all done. Mm -hmm. Try opening the windows today. Let the sun shine in. The sun shine in. What are you ladies working on today? I am going to work on my stove. Try to clean up the kitchen so I can tear it apart again. Working on being lazy. <laughs> Barb, you're too funny. I like being lazy. It's a hard job. Well, oh, I hear it printing.
Okay. That's the, the quilt there, but I'm not making it that small. Oh. Now. What? Oh my God, this printer's pissing me off. jelly roll strips. Oh, and Florence is working on a Moroccan Afghan kit. Oh, nice. Ooh, now, that sounds cool. So what this is going to give you is light prints and dark prints. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dark prints and eight light prints. I'm not using pure white. So eight darks and eight lights. Now, I want to make an additional... See one of these blocks here, this here, I want to make an additional one, make it a lap quilt, okay? So I need to determine how many, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight extra blocks. So I'm just going to gung-ho and cut as much as I can. So instead of 16... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going to need 24 uh, jelly roll strips. 24 strips instead of 16. Because if you divide this in half, 8 and 8 is 16. So this probably takes 8 strips here, 8 strips here, and, and 8 more strips for the next one. So we'll do 24 strips. So, we'll just mix them up. All right, so it's done printing. And that's how this works. Okay, there we go. Oh, these are smaller. The whites are smaller and these are darker. What, baby girl? I don't want to use solid white. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's yeah. try you go take a nap. Time for you go take a nap. Yeah. yeah. I really don't like the <coughs> part here. No. So I am not, I am not doing it this width. This is a smaller width. So this is actually two and a half. This looks like is about a one and a half of contrast fabric. So let's see. Cut 25 one and a half inch width of fabric strips. Yeah. That's, these are one and a half. These are two and a half. Now I want to keep it all two and a half. I'm not going to mess with this. So I'm just going to pick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so it's nine darks. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lights. Okay. So there's nine darks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And I need them to be all different. So let's pull out some fabric. Boy, oh boy. Let's make a mess. You want, baby girl. You're telling everybody hi. Was that a yeah or a nah? Huh? Um, what do I want to use for the center? Okay, let me pull out some fabrics here. Start 
start with some fabrics. I do not want to use that. So we've got this one we can use. We've got this one we can use. So we have this with that. We'll make our own jelly roll strips. All right? All right. Can I get a couple of strips out of this one? Is this got a full width of fabric? It sure does. So we can take some jelly roll strips out of that. We can out of this one as well. Some dark. Let's see. Oh. We can get some strips out of this one as well. If it's the full width of fabric, sure is. Here's a dark Golly G cupcake. Here's a nice dark piece with the fabric. All right. Uh huh. We also have this we can use that will give me a couple of strips and we'll consider that a dark fabric that's kind of cute yeah i like it um there's a couple of more light ones i love this one too so this is also with the fabric it's not a hunk of piece. And same with this one. So I'm just going to make this a very busy body thing. So, yeah, see, that's that's <coughs> the fabric. Okay. Let's choose. We need a lot of fabrics. All right. So, we'll fold this. All right, so now here's the deal. So we've got that. But this is a light, so I'm going to kind of separate them. Yes, please do. Dark. This is as dark. Uh, light, light, mm, light, light. So this is light, 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 light. This is a dark. That's cute. Um, these are all lights. I don't think you got enough material. This isn't even all of it. Not even close. Um, I'm going to consider this a light. That's a dark. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need nine, six. Um, and I don't want to use this one because that's a Christmas one. So this one's out of commission. Now, I don't want to use that. So let's see. Let's pick some lights. So this one's nice, right? One. How about the this one? Two. Three. Four. These look almost like they're darks. They're, they're solids. You see how that'll contrast? So we're going to consider that a dark. And we're going to consider that one a dark. One, two, three. Nope. We're going to consider this one a dark, too. So. There's our nine darks. We need eight lights. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't want to put black in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want black in it. 
So I have to find one more as a light. So I'll go dig out one more piece of fabric. Yeah, we don't want black and white. It's just not going to look good. So I guess we don't get to pick out the material, people. I don't have a lot to choose from. <laughs> so what you see is what I got. Yep. A mix match of a whole bunch of colors. Oh, how about that? This is blue and white, and it's not directional. Okay. So you guys tell me what you think. There's the, the lights. There's the darks. Okay. What do you guys think? See how these all contrast with that? Even this is a little bit dark, but it still contrasts with this. That's, hmm, let me see. I still would like to get rid of this one and this one and use stuff with white in it. So maybe we can choose two of these and get rid of them and use those. And I'm going to grab something else <laughs> that can be with white in it. I would say one of them pinks have to go. Yeah, I would say two. Maybe the the dragonfly. Yeah. Maybe both pinks. Oh, I mean, you got three pinks in there. Okay, so we have this. And this is white and peach. How about this? White and peach. Another light. So, okay, so which pink? This Get one. Rid, the dragonfly. Get rid of the dragonfly. Okay, so we'll leave one pink, put the green in there, and the teal. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still have to find one more. One more. Maybe I'll get rid of this red. And I'm going to put this dragonfly because... Yeah, but I'm looking at that black material with the polka dots on it. That's not black. That's blue. Okay, whatever well, color. Look at all the colors that are in that burgundy goes in with it good. You got the yellow that goes in there with it good. Yeah. Just this is red and it's meant for Christmas, so I'm not gonna use it. Okay, then don't. I like I like this because these are two different pinks. These two are the same color pinks. Yeah, one's gotta go. Yeah, see this is more of a purpley pink. That's pink pink. So there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine darks, seven lights, and I gotta find one more light, white in it. <clears throat> Which one do I want to? I'm digging in my pile here, making an F of a mess. <laughs> and I really don't have a whole lot. Oh my god. In here. <coughs> You can't tell a quilt or nothing. You can't. You what are you can't. trying to tell me? Nothing. I ain't trying to tell you a damn thing. Well, what are you saying for that? Okay. I was wrong. Hang on. I found some more fabrics. Ugh, I don't know if they'll give me. What do you want? You want. What do you want? I don't know if they're big enough pieces. You want your tent made up, huh? Come on. Scraps. Come on. Um, will this give me a couple of strips? Yeah. Get up in here. Get up in here. Yes, it will. So there's purple. Good girl. Come on. There we go. Get up in there. Come on. This one's nice, but I don't think it's a full piece. No, it's just a piece, a quarter of a piece. So these are just my scrap pieces that are not quite enough in here to do much with other than you know cut all right how's that i found the purple where i can get two two and a half inch strips out of it martha so that should be good that blue the blueprint with the white flowers is kind of pretty mm -hmm. 
Or it is pretty, kind of. I don't know. Trying to put my fabric back because I just cleaned all that up this morning. So I'm just going to see. We've got purple. Well, those are all pretty colors. If this will go with everything and stand out. Yep. All right. Here we go. Let's do some cutting. Now, first of all, I need to determine to determine lamp how many strips um okay 12 Okay. How am I going to do this evenly? So the two and a half inch square. I've got a feeling I should just make that a solid white, all of the centers. Of no. This. No. Okay. All right, so I need I need 24 strips. I have one, two, three, so eight, nine and eight is 17. Uh, 18, 19, 20. I am just going to cut two of each one. That's what I'm going to do. Two of this is gonna give me 30 something strips. Okay, and then I need to cut a binding and borders. Inner border, outer border, and I'm going to need a backing. But I have lots of fabrics for that. Backings. Okay. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 6, 28, 30, 32, 34, 34, should I, yeah, 34, what am I thinking? Okay, that was a scrap piece. Well, I guess I have to iron now, guys. Now Tiana wants in. So we will iron just a little piece, and we're going to cut two, two and a half inch strips from each one of these fabrics, and then I'm going to put them all back. I did have all my fabrics all nice and cleaned up, but ooh, this is going to be pretty. Just saying. Yes, it is. And we're going to make, I'm going to do, since all the darks will be on the outside of the box, I'm going to do an inner white border and then a nice dark outer border. And for binding and backing, I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. I do have a lot of fabrics. I just need to dig through and find something that's going to go well with that. So now these have to be cut and then. How long do they got to be? What? How long do they got to be? They're your strips. Uh, 44 inch fabric, width of fabric. That's what they're saying. Jelly rolls are always the width of the fabric. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to cut, take 16, open the fold, iron flat, and make the following subcuts from each strip. You will now have 16 each. Take the remaining 16 jelly roll strips, open the fold, iron flat and make the following subcuts from each strip. She's not making sense. Oh, 
Oh, 32 jelly roll strips. Ah. So if I cut 34, that's just going to be enough to do this. So what's half of 32? 16? Yep. So, half of 32 is 16. Okay. So all of them, I'm sure I can make only two from this. Two and a half, two and a half. Oh, I'm going to cut three from each. This one here, I can get three if I open it up. We're going to press it and we're going to cut it right this moment. So I'm going to fold it up to here, all the way up to there. Okay, and we're going to do some cuts. I should have read the instructions first, Martha. Sometimes, uh, sometimes duh. it helps. Duh, duh. It should be, and I helped. Okay, so I'm just cleaning up the edge, and then I'll cut three two and a half inch. So that's what I'm going to get three two and a half inch strips. And that's going to give me plenty to do another another set. So these are my homemade jelly roll strips. No different than what you buy. So I'll probably have a few left over. And that's just fine. So we're going to open these all up because we do have to open them and subcut them all. Well, what does it mean, subcut them? So now we're going to cut. We're going to cut different lengths. That's subcutting them. Ah. Yeah. Now, carry on with the next one here. No, oh, that's so cute of material. Yes, I love it. So I'm just going to make some a small cute baby portion. bibs. I just need to iron a small piece of this. Again, three, three strips is not a whole big hunk of, of fabric. Just make sure it's got creases out of it because I'm dealing with folded fabric and folded fabric. That's creases. Yes. So we all know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can get a straight cut on this edge here. So I can clean this up and then I don't need it to be on my lines. I just need it for the first initial cut. One strip. Okay, so let's take these three strips, put them together. This is pretty. All right, so we'll fold those up, stick them there. Let's fold this fabric back up because now I made a mess of it and it's got to go back in my thing. in my cupboard. So I try to keep all my fabric the same size as the bowls. And I'll just sit that up there for now. So this is the one here that I have the most of. <coughs> so I'm going to actually cut this one for my inner border and my binding because this is the one I have the most of. I have a lot here. Of, of fabric. So that could be your in in the middle diamonds? No. Nope. No, the middle diamonds are dark. Are dark pieces. 
the middle ones are all dark, two and a half. So this is actually the heart of the home. You can't That's really see where your finger's at. The center block here is called the heart of the home in a log cabin quilt. The very middle two and a half inch block. But what they want you to do is build these pieces off only at one and a half inches. So this is actually going to be a little bit bigger, a lot bigger than this here. But it's still all going to fit together the exact same way. Okay. It's still going to look like it's still going to look like a curvy log cabin. Only this part here area will be bigger. I want it to That's be. That's the part I'm talking about. The inner diamond. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron a good piece of this. Does it tell you how much you need for? Okay. Oh no! Why well, you read the directions? Five eight yarn, or use seven jelly roll strips for the binding. So I'm going to cut. And you need four and one eighth yards of backing. So I'm going to definitely need more. So I have a nice backing I could use. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my three strips. The inner border gets cut two and a half inch with the fabric. So I'm going to cut um, because I'm making it wider and bigger. I'm going to cut uh, 11 inners and 11 binding. I really don't know how big this is going to end up being. So let's just cut away. But this one is a pretty fabric. I really love this. Is it a gingham? It looks like a gingham, but it's not. It's just a, it's like an, a light orange and white. It's really pretty. So I want to make sure I've got it even up there. So, because that's the way morning pamela hey pamela we're gonna do a good chunk of fabric here because i don't know how much i'm gonna need i'm gonna need a bit that's for sure okay i'm gonna go see if i can put some of my stove together Tracy, how's this view? Trace. Okay. I need more. I will cut more. I'll earn more, but for now, this is good enough. Get this over here. And this will look nice with the dark on top of a dark um, uh, outer border. So I'll cut an outer border from one of the dark fabrics, one that I really like the best. So it's not enough room for my ruler to fit. And I'm going to clean up this edge. That's got to go over a tiny bit more. Go. I gotta cut up all that much off to clean it up. There we go. All right. So let's start with our uh, our quilt pieces. So there's one. There's two. This is for the actual log cabin blocks. There's three. So we'll take these pieces and we'll put them over with the other ones so I don't get confusted. So that's part of the log cabin. Okay. Now, let's carry on and cut. I'm going to cut five. And then I'm going to subcut two and a half. Just... There's one, two. Five 
inch piece. Okay, that's tight. That's good. Okay, so five inch piece. Subcut two and a half. So there is four. If I run out, I can always cut more. Eight, nine, ten. So let's subcut these two and a half. Oops. Okay, so five three, four. So these here are inner border. And we gotta write that down. I don't want this big paper. I just don't need a little wee piece. So inner border. So there's 10. So if you're making this, 10 should be enough, but just in case. Okay. So inner border. We'll set you off to the side here. And now we're going to cut 10 more strips for binding because it said to cut seven. And I don't think I have enough out yet. So I don't think I need to. It's pretty good. Right. Now I gotta re-click this edge. Because for some godforsaken reason it came uneven. Well, I just from shifting my fabric, I think. So I'm just gonna clean that back up. So I'm cutting ten of these. So I need five of these five inch strips. fabric to shift again and I don't want to have to cut it again. So there we go. Three pieces at five inches. One. binding. This is actually going to look nice on a dark piece. My dog is going to get a punch in the head. I'm going to have to mash her with the iron. All right. That's done. So, label this 
Uh, oh, she's barking at the garbage bin. I can hear the garbage bin truck. This is binding. binding. We will sit that here. I'm going to go make her come in. She is driving me nuts. All right. Hold this back up. This has to go back in my stash. Nice and neatly. I'll be right back. Again, getting up, up and down. I should lose weight getting up and down. Lots of weight. Okay. All right, carry on to business. Now, I'm back. Hey, Ruby, if you, if you're making larger, you need more than seven binding strips. Yeah, that's why I cut 10, BJ. I cut 10 of each. I cut 10 binding and 10 inner borders because they both said seven, seven inner borders, I think, and seven bindings. Cut seven, yep. And for the binding, cut you seven jelly roll strips. So I just cut 10. Sound good? Okay, good. We're good. We're so good. We're all good, BJ. We're all good in the hood. So this one here, I just need three strips. I just need a little piece. So we'll just fold it in half. This is my favorite way to cut strips. Is this way. Like so. And line it up the best I can. This is pretty. It's blue. It's navy blue and white. But I'm going to turn this over because it's super wrinkled underneath. Right. We just need three, three strips of this. And you'll have to go back over there. Because with my luck, I will definitely... So where's my shortest piece? 
with there. Oh, we're going to make a quilt also with this. I want to show you what came out today. I'm going to show you my bolts of fabric. These came for 60 bucks. These are from Missouri Star. It's an entire bolt for 60 bucks. There's 10 yards of the Kona white fabric. I got the black and the silver. <laughs> but with that, they had on their sale a deal of the day that day. They had this, and I'm going to get the smaller one. But I've always wanted to make a quilt with one of these, and it's called a tube, strip tube ruler. And this is the designs you can get. Absolutely no math is right. See those designs? They're super easy because all you do is take two and a half inch strips and you sew two, three, four of them together, and then you sew them up on both sides. So you sew them together and you would sew another four strips, pile it together, sew both sides up, and you have like a big tube. Now you can do it with two and a half inch. So for an example, um, let's take these here. For an example, so see, I have two strips. These two strips are sewed together, okay, but they would be wrong sides out, of course. All right, you would line this up on the two and a half inch mark. On your, you, you would line your the dotted line is two, and then two and a half is that. So you would put this mark on your stitching line, like so. Then you would cut it cut it, open it up, and you would have all these different strips. I have that ruler. Did you get the large one? This is the large one. There is a smaller one, but it wasn't on sale. So I didn't buy it. <sighs> this was like half price. So this this, this here, we are definitely going to make one. Um, I don't think I really need the small one. This one goes up to nine inches. Sorry, yeah, nine inches. So I could use a, pr I would never make a block. Well, mm. that would give you a nine inch block. So you would put this on your, your strip. But remember, you got two pieces and they're sewed on both sides. You would put this on your sewing line, cut, and there's, open it up. It's like a half square triangle with all different colors in it. These are fun. Thought I'd show you that. I got that came in my order. I forgot I ordered that. So, yeah. Check it out. Okay. Cut. Five. <gasps> What'd you get done, Martha? I got the gas line hooked up. Did your stove work? Well, I got a... Make some bubble water, turn the gas on, see if it leaks or not, and then plug her in and she'll be going. Oh, my God. You can make a nice dinner. Aren't you excited? Yeah. You've been, what, two months without a stove? Yep. At least. All right. So there's those ones. Yeah, Wait. I was kind of off the grid, man. What? I was kind of off the grid. What do you mean? As far as cooking, you know, microwaving and eating yeah. out, that's off the grid. Coffee pot making or iron making grilled cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I should have really pulled my my iron out and made one. Just for oh, that. you did it? You no, lied. I didn't. Ah. Okay, so how have I got this folded? Okay, I don't have it folded like that. The store did. This one's kind of cool. This already looks beautiful along this edge. Looks like I've already cleaned up this edge because I've had to cut pieces off. So I'm just going to line it all up. And I don't have to clean up that edge.
five inch. And two and a half. Okay. I think I'm going to iron that a little wee bit because I don't like the bubbles in that. Or the way it's folded. Things have to be nice and neat. Okay, so there's that three strips. Done with this piece of. Hi, Linda T. Good afternoon, Linda T. She says, I love this view. Oh, you do, Linda? Okay, well, I got two cameras going. Trying to make my guys, I'm trying to make you guys happy. Happy, happy. There we go. So that's going to go up here with the rest of that. Okay. All right, so this has to be, has to go this way. And I am going to have to iron this because it's too wrinkled. And I don't want all the wonky strips. So I do have to open up my strips. So this one, I do have to clean up the edge. Five inches. Clean up your edge, woman. I am. I always clean up my edges. Well, I know that. Look how nice and beautiful it is. Oh, but you gotta no, be careful. Really? You can't slide the ruler around on this because it's got those true grips on it. So it's gonna shift your fabric. So I try not to move the ruler on it. Yeah, them grips. Are they like sandpaper grips? No, they're silicone-y, rubbery. Oh. Yeah, they're super good. I got sandpaper ones on mine. Well, that's what my I mom really had. Like, I love this pattern. I love this fabric. Isn't that pretty? That's yeah, pretty. Yes, it is. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, and the six. So, I'll just fold you up. Hold you up because I've got to sub cut all of these. We have two more lights to cut. So this is going to go back in with my leftover pieces because it's not really a whole lot there to write home to mom about. So you know what? This is really pretty fabric too. All right, we're just making a mess of these. Let's put them right there. Move that, move that. And give that a little, little toasty crust. Make it a little toasty warm. This edge is perfect already, but you know what? I don't trust it. <laughs> I'm just going to clean it up a wee, 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 all the way home bit. Wee bit. So that's going to give me three. Is 
Linda says, been super stressed this last few weeks. Hubby has was forced to retire. And we have been scrambling to get all our ducks in a row. Why yeah. was he forced? Sometimes companies either, as opposed to laying them off, and don't forget, COVID affected a lot of companies. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. And it made a lot of businesses go out of business. Well, hey, as long as he gets retirement. Yeah. All right. So this one here is really pretty, too. But I... Press a little. It looks like it's very. Uh, has affected me physically. I feel like crap. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Linda. I hope things get better. Nothing can ever get worse. It should always get better. I was talking to Karen Stansel this morning. Oh, said, you did, huh? Yeah, and I said to her, I asked her how she was doing, and this was at 5 o'clock this morning, okay? <laughs> she was up. She was going for chemo this morning. And anyway, I said to her, did you hear about Pamela Schaefer? And she come back with, no, but please don't tell me she died. And she said that Pamela talked to her. They were talking a few times, not a lot, she said. She just didn't know she passed away from COVID. I felt bad. I said to her, I felt bad springing that on you. So how's Karen doing? Um, she's she's having it rough with the chemo. She had a stroke a little while back. And uh, they put her dog in a new home because she was... She was... Um, in care she was in the hospital because of her stroke so her doggy went to a new home but she got a new puppy and is it ever cute and she's recovering from the stroke however she's got bad neuropathy in her hands and her legs from the stroke but other than that hey that looks burnt to me that is literally burnt but yeah, she's uh, she's pretty rough. Yeah, Her, that chemo can really. Yeah, she said this has been the worst last two weeks because she had chemo two weeks ago, and she said this has been the worst that she's ever had to deal with. Oh, great! What is that? Someone's calling you on Facebook. Anyways, I think you guys should give Karen some prayers and uh, hope her chemo doesn't make her really sick again but today because she's gone for another treatment. But she was in good spirits. I haven't talked to her in a long time, so. Want to make sure she was doing good. She was getting up early because her chemo was at 6.15 in the morning. So that's actually 7.15 in my time. She's an hour behind me in Tennessee. From Tennessee, where is she? <laughs> She's not in Tennessee, is she? Oh my God. How can I forget where she is? It's just slipping my mind. That is my first 
considered dark. Yes. These are my new fabrics I just got from Joann's and all I bought was two yards of each. And that's all they give you, exactly two yards. <laughs> two flipping yards. Oh, this fabric smells like perfume. It smells good. I like these tiny pieces. So I need to clean up this edge. Where's all four pieces? We are pretty close. So we really don't have to take much off. Just a little teeny tiny bit. darks. Again, this is not really going to go into my yardage, just as a scrap. Good enough to make a bag or something with, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. sure we cut off all the bad pieces. So right now what we're doing is we're making our own pretend jelly rolls. Strips. With nine dark fabrics and eight light fabrics.
iron it from this side because I want to get rid of that fold right there. edges Falling off my chair. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, I don't feel like a heel, Linda. Everybody's got to complain about something, it seems like. What do you mean? Well, she said, well, I feel like a heel complaining about my piddly shit. Don't. That you have supporters and friends here. Right. Don't ever feel like it that. And we don't judge in this group. I'll tell you that. I don't allow that. And I don't judge people. And I don't want them judging me. So, and I don't, I've never seen anybody in this group judge anyone else. It's a great bunch of ladies. Yeah, great. I agree. This is a really nice group. And never, I never seem to have any drama, which I feel very blessed about. Yeah, no drama here. I kick you out. Yeah, none. And rarely does anybody bad come in my chat. I don't know when the last time that ever happened. Been, yeah. Not a long time. Yeah. So things have, you know, we've come a long way. So don't ever feel bad. We're here to support you, Linda, no matter what ups and downs you have. Good, bad, ugly. We here. We be your friend. And we don't judge. I'm ready for a nap. Again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you the nap queen. <laughs> Tracy likes my view. I asked you like a half an hour ago when I changed it. I said, is this good? Because I'm changing it because Tracy likes this view. So does uh, so. That is so. Oh, yeah. Duh. Tracy. I'm all right. I was, I was Curly <laughs> calling in. Oh, that was Curly. Yeah. Why weren't you at the bar? It's like I told you. Over the weekend, I drank enough that it lasted me for a whole week. I don't need no beer. Oh, yeah. You didn't. You weren't feeling good anyway. No, that's why I told him. I said, I'm not feeling well. Now my stomach's turning. Yeah. Darn burrito. But anyway, uh, so put up. So true. They put up with me, and that ain't easy. 
<laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Ain't she though? Yeah, she's she's not she's lying. She just doesn't do nothing. Pamela likes the view. Oh, Pamela likes the view too. Everybody likes my view now. Well, there yeah. you go. We get to see more of what what you're doing. Yes, very true. True that. And we get to see what pajamas you're wearing today. <laughs> oh, <shorts. laughs> I'm teasing. Yeah. I live in these. Even when I go to work, the minute I come home, my work clothes go bye bye, get off. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can get dressed to go to the store, come back in. I'm putting my slop clothes back on again. Yep. These are my slop clothes. My night shirts. Yeah. But they're not the same ones I wear to bed. I just like lounging in them. Yeah. Comfy. It's very comfy. Nothing on my stomach. I can overeat if I want. <laughs> Oh, That's the only problem with the slop clothes is that they, they've got super elastic in them and you can stretch them out as yep. you eat and eat and eat. Now I feel like an ice cream. <laughs> she said her stomach was turning. Now she wants ice cream. You really don't make sense, Martha. You know what? Well, you know, sometimes ice cream can settle the stomach. Yes, milk, dairy. Yes, I agree. I still got a little bit of milk right here. Get her done. Oopsies. That won't fit my cupboard if it's going to be sloppy on the side like that. Things have to fit. That will fit in my cupboard. Ugly fabric. It's already folded the way I need it to be. Better do both sides. A little more wrinkled than others. It smells like perfume. All right, I don't know how much. Oh, I don't really need to take all that much off. Maybe a quarter inch. Pamela, wow. She said her daughter bought her a key lime pie for reaching 14,000 subs. Oh, nice. Yum. Wow, 14,000. You go, girl. Good job, Pam. No kidding. Congrats. I would like a Pepperidge Farm chocolate layered cake just for reaching 400. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only like three people away, I think, from reaching 400 people. It's like, my God, what? Why do people not like me? All right, this one's not big I'm enough. I'm going to go do. see how many I got. Maybe you got new ones. Yeah, I haven't checked. I know I have one or two new subscribers a couple months back, but um, three hundred and ninety-nine. One more. One more, people. One more. She needs one more, guys, to get her pepperidge Amen. whatever cake. I'll put a link in. Somebody who's not. Subscribe to Martha. Go subscribe. Give her one more so she can get her Pepperidge cake. Please, come one, come all. 
And I've tried hitting 500 for the end of the year, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm trying to get my silver play button, and I have for since 2013, almost 10 years, and I'm not even close. You need 100,000 subscribers for your play button. Yeah. Yep. The thing is, is you gain subscribers, but you also lose as much as you gain now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it used to be that. Well, a lot of them are YouTube closes counts. Uh, a lot of them people just leave. Yeah. I know I need to really go through. I'd rather they just leave than leave negative comments or anything like that. I'd rather them just get hit the road. Yeah, Pamela is a subscriber. I think so is Linda T. Um, mm -hmm. Please do, please do. I was supposed to go live the last two nights, but like I just have not felt it. I'm not even sure if I can do it tonight. What's the date today? Today's the 15th. Two more days and StreamYard's going to take 240 American dollars out of my bank. They already did that. They snuck that in on me. Yeah, because you got your account before me. Yeah. Yeah. I did mine a little bit after you. This August. I had mine done in August. One, guys. The last one is <clears throat> the cut. The last one. I'm going to do this side because this doesn't have a big fold in it. The last one. Hi, Feisty. Hey, Feisty lady. She says, sorry I'm late to the party. I got distracted planning a rose applique quilt. Ooh. Ooh. Designing it, did she say? Planning it. Planning. Ooh. Well, I'll be damned. A damn. rose applique. That ought to be cool. Yes. I can't even think of a song for that, so. So once these pieces are all cut, this quilt will go to blocks, will go together quite fast. I gotta get everything cut. So Yes, they charge you to stream. If you get on the StreamYard, you can get 20 free hours a month. Now oh tell her thank you, Pamela. Um which equals out, you can get five hours a week. But it costs you $240 a year. American, a year, to get unlimited hours. So that unlimited means I can hours. stream all day, every day, and not just 20 hours in a month. Right. Yeah. It's free, but you only get 20 hours. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do was to cut out my outer border. And it's like, I couldn't do that with all them eight-hour shows I was doing. I couldn't do that. No. So out of these darks, I'm trying to determine. I got burned out on them eight hours. Oh, my God. You know my hours I went on that? I think I'll use this one here because that will be the outer border. And this is I think one day I did 13 the inner hours. border. So won't that look nice? And plus, the inner border is also going to be my binding. So will that look nice? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pull this fabric back this out and, so. and cut 10 four and a half inch strips because the outer border is four and a half inches. So it's a, it's a fairly big border. All right. So oh, yeah, please do, Feisty. She can take a picture and post it on the page. That will be this fabric here that I'm going to cut. And cut some four and a half inch 
Ruby is actually, we talked her into doing a log cabin, so she quit what she was doing, and she's cutting for a log cabin. Yeah, please do, Feisty Lady. I'd love to see it. Yep. Feisty Lady. Uh, Feisty Lady said that she couldn't wait for me to make the log cabin quilt. So here we are. You ask and you shall receive. No, that was not her. Oh, it wasn't? Oh, sorry. No, no, no. no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was... Uh, <laughs> ah, geez. Debbie? No, no, no. Barb. Nope. Yep. No. It was Barb. It wasn't Barb, was it? Uh-uh. It was someone that we haven't seen in a while. No, I'm going back. I'm reading. Okay, you'll find it. Uh oh. <clears throat> what past it? Rajul even said good morning. I did not even see her. Oh, she was here. That she was when I went to go uh, take Terry. Yeah, it might have been. Okay, so it was after that. Yeah. I think that's enough. need to iron this still. Oh, we had a Denise Turk from Michigan. Oh, hi, Denise. Sorry. That was way back. Way back. That's when I was gone, too. Yeah. I must not have saw it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be looking at all this stuff, and then they're going to say it was me, it was me. Okay, wait a minute, I give up, so... Yeah, it was Barb. Can't wait till you start your log cabin. See, I was right. Oh, well, I made her look anyways, Barb. <laughs> <laughs> she deserved that, I guess. <laughs> oh, I would definitely help you out, Pamela. Oh, yeah. Yes, I would love to help you out. All right, here's my outer border. I'm cutting 10 of them. I don't know how many I'll need. That movie's over with. I missed the ending of it. Two, four. Oh, that took me back to there. Dang it. Six. Eight. Oh, the Princess Bride. That was funny. It just posted. Okay. Let me go see, and maybe I can share it in chat. Well, I imagine everybody's got crafty with Ruby anyway. So. Yeah. So there is my outer border, which I think that's going to look really nice with the binding. Oh, on it. look at that. So we'll fold this up. This is. Oh, quit jumping back outer border it's taken her two days to figure out the rose shapes and i tell you what it looks good okay we're done like dinner that back so 
now we still have some left over just in case I don't have enough order. I can cut another strip or two. So here are my dark prints. Here are my light prints. Eight, two, four, six, eight, nine. And this is my outer border. Alright, so we have outer border. And I can't paste it. So you all have to go to the page and look at it yourself. Inner border and binding. That's the way the quilt's going to look when it's all done. That's a pretty border. Love it. Okay, so we're just going to set these off to the side here for now. And I'm going to clean up. Then we're going to subcut these. Sub cutting. Ooh, fine. Lights will be cut. The darks will all be cut the same. The lights will be cut differently. Oh, nausea. I got to go get a spray bottle. I got to find a spray bottle. thinking. All right. I'm going to put this fabric away. These are pieces I cannot use. These are hard. I'm going to put back in my cupboard. If I have a messy craft room again, I'm going to have a fit. going to make some cuts. And I'm going to take a break. Um, I don't need this ruler. I only need my two and a half incher.
one thing to like. How do you like? We have gas. All right. I'm back with the snack. Now I'm nervous. So the dark ones. All right. Those get subcut differently. So what they want us to do is open these up and iron out the folds. I need water in this. I swear that's snow jets. Oh wow. My cup is empty already. Damn, I go through a lot of water. Okay, so. Iron out that I, I got a bubble. Iron out it as tight as it can go. So let's make <coughs> our piles. So I'm going to cut each one separately because there's no way in God's green earth I'm going to line up all these strips and cut through them. Thank you, Feisty. Oh, I am hot as fuck in here. Oh Feisty says I only have six roses and four buds made so far. It's going to take me weeks to get the roses made, I think. Okay. Do I have cuts? Thank you, ladies, for subscribing. That should make me 401. Oh, good. Okay, let's see. I'm going to... I swear those are snowbirds. Flying 403. Oh, sweet. There you go. Now go get your cake. <laughs> well, that's going to turn into ice cream, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I sprayed it. I plugged it in. I got gas coming from the stove, but I think there was bubbles. So I'm going to let it calm down for a minute. Try it again. I shut it off. I'm so scared that I don't catch it right and the house is going to blow up. Okay, so we need to cut 12 and a half, 9 and a half, 6 and a half, 3 and a half, 2 and a half. You will now have 16 of each piece size. Well, no, I won't. Poor baby girl. Till I cut these. Oh, so. Yeah, you just want some loving. Yeah. Rub my butt. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Meow. I'm going to take. So you know what? Off. And I'm going to grab me a long ruler because we're going to do the first cut first, which is what did it say? No, I had it right the first time. Okay, so 12 and a half. Here's our first cut. At 12 and a half. So I really want to line this up here and here. All right. Yeah, Linda. It's called Let Him Make His Own Sandwich. <laughs> Retirement's fun. Okay, so what I got to do is make separate little piles of all the 12 and a halves. Okay. Then we need 9632. 
spine in half. Okay, you little witch. So those are the nines. Oh, I should have put tape on that piece. I think I was supposed to put tape on that piece. I could probably cut more layers than this. Three. Yeah, it's just a new day. One, two, three. I have to mix half distilled water with tap water for my irons. My water is just too hard to use straight from the tap. Yeah. Oh, Debbie. Oh, no. Debbie's got to take Spencer to the vet. He is worse. Oh, no. We we'll hope it goes well, Debbie. Yes, I do, too. Okay, so. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do this because I just don't have the room. So what I'm going to do is I'll make all the piles, then I'll separate them after we're done, okay? Now, this is left over going to fold you up, put you here. So let's do some more. I was working on the darks. All right. If I don't iron out these folds, my cuts won't be right. Yeah, I got a couple little storms come through last night. One of them was like, in two minutes, it flash flooded the streets. Michigan's good. Michigan's good for flash floods. Yeah, because we rarely get storms like that. And when it does, it has at it. Guys, at her. Get her pattern. No watering today, right? Feisty says, I've been so worried about my dad for the past week. He fell in the nursing home and broke his hip. He has dementia and is just confused. That's, that's sad. That's bad. Especially when they break the hip. Yes. Okay. Is he in a hospital right now then? That was definitely a gully washer. Yeah, Linda, it sure was. Um, most of the big ice storms was below me last night. But there was one point where the trees were rocking a little bit. And I'm thinking, oh, God. But I had my eye right on that weather channel on the um, computer. Yeah, because you get tornado weather, don't you? Not really. Hmm. Rarely do we ever get a tornado. But there was, what, one or two of them that hit that hit this year. Where? Uh, wasn't around me. It was either north or south. Oh, wow. So, guys, this is a little bit of time, patience. Get your log cabin right. And it turns into a virtue. <laughs> exactly. Which she said. Mm -hmm. Yes. Patience is a virtue. Yes, it does. And <laughs> she turns on the lights on so she don't see the lightning. <laughs> All right. So 
I am going to snip off an inch here just to make sure I get all the yucky salvages. It wasn't that bad because Holly was laying on the couch. Well, she came over by me too a little bit, but she's like looking at the rain, listening to the rain. I said, it's okay. It's just raining. She's been doing pretty good. I've been trying to teach her, you know, you don't have to run from a storm. Right, pretty girl? Oh, man. Yeah, you've been she... doing pretty good. That moved. There's the 12 and a half. Mm. 12. Nine and a half. Yeah, it came from the west. I was checking out the whole states, and it was not from the hurricane. Six and a half. Four and a half. Three and a half. Back in the nursing home now, they could fix his hip with the screw. His hip broke at the ball joint. Ooh. Oh, the healing. Yeah, and it takes elderly people a lot longer to heal. Yep. How old is he, feisty? Whoops. He's 76. Wow. 
Yeah, my flowers still look good too. The day I put them in the dirt. Love them artificial flowers. <laughs> yeah, mine are, mine are screwed. Why? Because we've had cold days in the mornings and it's killed all my flowers. Oh. Yeah, it's like five degrees out in the morning. And that ain't very warm, Martha. No, they're not. No. Not at all. This one here, this cotton feels very thin. I love this movie. It's so funny. Which movie? Which movie, Martha? The Princess Bride. Oh. I guess your Halloween movie should be starting soon, eh? Yeah, in October. The only plant that looks that might be done is my cherry tomato plant. He is looking really sad. Yeah, but one thing about the cherry tomato plants, they come back every year. I do believe. And Feisty said the hardest thing is my mom still lives at a home. It is hard on her. Putting my dad in the nursing home was has cut their income because the government takes my dad's pension now. Oh, yes, geez. they do. Yeah, that's that's sad. And of course, nursing homes are like what three grand a month. So anybody that gets three grand on their pension is pretty rich. But I'm saying, you know, not everybody gets that. But you know what I'm saying, it's just. The homes get you. That's all there is to it. Sometimes it's almost worth just uh, leaving them home and getting an uh, in, in-home nurse. There's lots of ways you can think around it, but I think my dad pretty did pretty well. He was 87, still getting around home. He was starting to lose his little bit of his memory. We're getting dementia, and uh, with all that blood transferring, he just gave up. He said he was done. Yep, they give up. I think my dad gave up too. All right. One, two, three more darks. And then what do I have to cut for the lights? 14, 11, 8. I got him in a big pot, not in the ground, so I don't know if he will come back. Well, put him in the ground somewhere. I know the people that lived across the street from Mike and Regina up north in Pinconning, um, he had cherry tomato plants, and they were coming back every year and fully loaded with cherry tomatoes. We'd go over there and snack on them.
Wow, four thousand a month for her dad's nursing home. Oh my god. That's just outrageous. That's ridiculous. Especially when half of them are short staffed. You know, they only have so many people per shift. And they abuse them. Elder abuse. That's what I'd die, die would say. <laughs> Elder abuse. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yep, it is. not cheap, Martha. Well, it's been a couple years since we've talked about it, so it's obviously has went up. Yeah. <coughs> I think this is all I'm going to do today. I won't be able to go live Friday. I got the grandchildren all day, all night. My daughter sent me a message. He said, do you mind keeping the kids overnight Friday? And I never responded. And I'm going to get a message. By, you by the time I get back to my living room, there'll be a message that says, I know you saw my message. <laughs> Why are you ignoring me? You don't want your grandchildren? Oh, my God. Of course, I don't want my grandchildren. Too bad I couldn't permanently keep them. That's not a good thing to say. They have good mommy. And they have a good daddy. Oh, feisty, that's sad. My mom thought hard about an in-home nurse, but with the dementia, he gets too violent at times because he feels lost and he loses time. Yes, that's dementia. what happens with dementia patients. It is, yeah, that's a sad thing in all itself. The flower wall has turned out beautiful. Yes, it did. It turned out beautiful. We just... Love sitting and looking at it. And it even had finches making a nest in one. Oh, how cool. Cool. I love finches. They're so Yeah, you got to take another picture of that, Linda. And see how all your flowers turned out after this summer. How much they growed. <coughs> how. Oh, my ribs hurt. I'm going to cut this and call it a day. It is 107. Yeah. Yeah, you've been almost four hours. Yeah. It's long enough for me. I <sighs> spent all day in here, cleaned my kitchen, did the dishwasher on, uh, cleaned my craft room, organized it, cleaned my sewing machine, wiped it all down, wiped down all my desk, wiped down all my furniture because this fabric causes a lot of fibers that makes it look like it's dust and it really clings to the sewing machine because of i guess it's like an oil residue on it from it being you know an oily thing oh linda was watering her flower wall one day and flushed a baby bird right out of the nest luckily she scooped them up quick and put them back well, one of my, we, I was out like having a smoke and I looked into my front pond and I'm like, is that a bird floating in my pond? Sure enough, 
The bird was dead. Jeff had to go take it out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve and a half. It was dead. It drowned. It fell in the pond somehow. Two, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, it probably ran into the porch and then fell back into the water. Yep. Two, four, six, nine. So all my darks are cut. Well, they will be in about two seconds. So now we need four and a half. Three and a half. And two and a half. And that's that. There. Now, we're going to make separate piles so we can mix all of these. I'm not digging through these piles when I start sewing them to catch my drift. Why don't I see four and a half? I see that size. I have to be here. Four and a half. I don't see a four and a half. Well, okay. Maybe I didn't cut it. See, this is why I'm glad I kept this. And it's longer than any of the other ones, so I must have missed it. Four and a half one. Because now all the pieces are starting to look the same. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and this one. So let's mix these all up. Three and a half. So let's do, um, yeah, let's do a pink. I don't want them to do this one. And that one. That one. That one. And Oops, one, two, oops, three. And these are too much the same as the other ones, so they'll go here. So that's how these blocks are going to go. Now. What you want to do is lay out all the colors so we don't line them up exactly the same for the next block. You guys know what I mean? There's got to be a, several different ways to make these. Three. 
trying to mix them up so I don't have colors the same. I'm going to start to sew them together. <coughs> okay, so there's, there's all the heart of the helm right there. Actually, I'm not even going to bother because there's nine colors and there's nine pieces to the block. So I just have to mix them up as I sew them. That's all. That's all we do. So let's just separate them. That way I'll know that this will make three blocks. I see, I see the quilt that Dai Dai was sharing with you on that thing is gorgeous. Yeah, the paper pieced one. Yeah. Yeah. It's very pretty. The colors yes. are fantastic. Yes. Okay. Why do I feel like I don't have enough? Some of these are going to be repeats. Why do, why do I only have enough to make four? Oh, a three. Oh, I know why. Because we're doing one, two, three, four. This is not adding up. Well, oh, hi, Brett. How are you? Brett's here, Ruby. Hi, Brett. One day I was sitting here and we've had a hawk live around here for a couple years and all of a sudden, I see like blue jay feathers flying around the window. It's like, what the heck? And a hawk had come and got a blue jay. Okay. Okay, what? I have to cut these down to one and a half inch strips. Because wow. the measurements here are meant for the one half inch strips. This piece, when I sew everything together... They're not going to, these long strips are not going to fit. It don't make no sense. If they're the same width, they should all fit they're together. They're not the same width. These are, these are two and a half. These are one and a half, the whites. So these have to be one and a half. <sighs> Doing pretty good, Britt. I think. I say before you cut it, rethink about it. I am. Okay, Martha, see here? These are meant to fit. This five and a half inch piece is meant to fit over this two, two and a half, this two and a half, and this one and a half. You see? So there's like two one and a halves to one two inch. Look, all the white is one and a half inch. See how much smaller it is than the big side? Oh, yep. Yeah. So this yeah. strip, this strip here was meant to fit in this area, but with a one and a half inch strip here. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I have yep. to cut these down to one and a half inch strips or it's not going to work. Okay, people. Lesson learned today. Please follow directions first. <laughs> anyway, I'm not even going to bother. Read. I should say, read directions first. 
right? Yes. Yes. How many blocks will this actually give me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't you kind of like rearrange like one square have the light, the one and a half inch, and then the next one do like the darks one and a half inch? 15. Okay, so there's 16 blocks, and then I need eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's going to give me eight more, and I've got one, two, three left over, which I may incorporate in the border. We'll see with all these extra pieces. All right. So this is going to work. The only problem is these are too big. Or this pattern is not going to work out because she's gave, I cut these to her measurements, which is 12 and a half, which this will be the last piece of the block. Mm -hmm. if, the, if I'm trying to squeeze in a two and a half in there and these here on this block pattern, you see these lights? They ain't going to fit in this 12 and a half inch strip. This is going to be too short. So we'll cut these down to one and a half tomorrow. And then we'll get start sewing on this. And just make a bunch. Just I've got enough fabrics here to make uh, my 24 blocks. Because that's what I need. Because I'm making it. I'm making it eight blocks bigger. Which is one, one section. So I'm just making it one section bigger this way, right? See, go one section. So that's one, two, three, four, and four. That's eight more blocks. So I'm going to go down one more, okay? All right. Well, that's fine with me. Um, I have lots of fabrics. So if um, I don't like the width, if the width is too short for me, even with the inner and outer border, I may do another outer border, another big border. And that will always add extra width and oh, add length. extra length to your project. So I'm not worried about it. I really don't want to do another because I'm not sure how big this is going to be. We're, we're talking here, 12 and a half inch block. When this is done sewing in, that's going to be a 12 inch block when it's finished. So in, in reality, in reality, you're going to have 12 and 12 is 24 inches in here. Yeah, it's not that wide. And then you got a two and a half inch here. So 13, 14, and 16. Wait, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. It's not going to be very big. 68 by 68. So I don't mind the 68. I just want it longer. We're good. We're good in the hood. So me and square quilts don't get along. <laughs> All right. And tomorrow we'll have this view. Maybe I can zoom in and see if you can see my sewing machine, this view. I'd have to, of course, move my camera a little bit. Up. Yep. You'll be able to see that. Yep. Good job. Okay. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'm going in my living room and chilling for a minute. Oh, my back is sore. All right. Take care. See you guys tomorrow. God bless. Bye, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it, Tracy. I think she said something about the first time that they thought it was a, a, a hoax or something.